Hello. Today I am making a review of Thousand Trails uh, Medina Lake campground. Uh, it's a huge territory and the best part about it is there's a lot of deer and a lot of uh, walking trails and nature. Uh, this is the pass-through and um, there's a gate code which changes quite often. This is an office building. Uh, there's nothing interesting in there. You can buy ice, which we did, and uh, you check in there. Also, their package delivery uh, principle is they require $5 for each package you receive, and uh, they do not receive USPS. Uh, you will get a pink slip from the post office, and the post office and the package will wait for you there, which is in Pipe Creek, like half an hour away. Uh, the park is a little bit shabby, I have to admit. There are a lot of buildings like that, which are probably better, would be better to be removed. <laughs> um, a lot of old, beautiful oak trees and other trees, which is nice, good, and shady. Uh, many RV spots are really shady. A basketball court, a concrete. This little cabin has been rearranged as a game room. Um, it's always closed. You have to ask for a key at the, uh, in the office and uh, you can use it for two hours. It says they have games and books in there. I haven't tried it, but well, you can use it. The swimming pool is being under repairs right now. Uh, I think they've been dumping water off it. And over there, you can also see there's a hot tub. The swimming pool is not heated, but probably good for summer. I saw, I see the, the um, shelters from the sun and a lot of chairs. This is a playground. Here. A bathhouse. Let's go inside. It's clean, but really nothing fancy. It's good to see the bath, the toilets, and the shower. The good thing that it's, it's a quite spacious place to change. And the showers are not fancy, but quite big. And everything's clean though. So this is a laundromat and it's only six washers and six dryers. The price... So there are several sections of the park right here across the playground and all the buildings, the laundromat. Uh, there is an A section. Um, the RV sites are quite spacious and uh, not all of them are full hookups, so many of them don't have sewers. Uh, most of them are 30 amp, there are just several of 50 amp, and I think it's additional fee of like a couple of dollars per night. Uh, there are not many of them though. So you have to really look, go through and see where the hookups, full hookups are. Uh, it's first come first serve, so they would um, let you in the park and you choose where you want to park. Uh, the lake area is very remote from here, it's about 20 minutes walk. If you walk from the amenities, which is, well you can also drive, it's like 5 minutes drive. The dumpsters are fine, they're in several places uh, in the park. 
not far to walk. Uh, the cell signal is fine, nobody complained, though we had a lot of families here, we had a big rally, 70 families at, at once, and um, we have AT&T, it worked fine, nobody complained with other uh, cell, uh, providers too. This is uh, the end of the... Uh, the edge of the A section and the next one over there is uh, our section where we are also many good sites are marked like that and that means that there's no power it's not working so they're just marked red and um, you can't stay on them obviously and uh, there are really many of them at the campground a nice thing is, which I like, uh, there's a lot of space like that. Uh, there are some hiking trails also between these uh, trees and there are a lot of deer you would see. Not, not too many in this section, it's too busy, but there's more of them in um, close to the lake. Hey, sweetie. Hello, curious buddy. So I'm getting closer to the lake now, and in these woods there are many of them. Some of them are shy, some of them are curious. Look at this beautiful big guy. They're always hanging out here. This is the um, activity zone, uh, a little playground, and the building. The big building is the activity center. It's closed now in, in, in fall, hopefully for renovations, and it's gonna be perfect when it, it's finished. And uh, here, close from here, is the lake. A mini golf close to the activity center. They also have cabins here. These are um, the F section. Again, the same which is close to the lake. And there are RV spots here too. People who pick the spots by the lake have them all the time. And there we can see the lake. Actually, it's raining, so I'm not getting closer. So, that's pretty much it. Thank you guys for watching. I hope this review is helpful. And if you like it, please press like. Thank you and bye.